How's it going everybody? My name is System Z, and today I'm going to be bringing you a highly requested video on my channel. So a lot of you have been asking for a tutorial on how to install mods into Minecraft. Today we're going to do just that. So let's go ahead and start up Minecraft. You are going to need to run it at least once. So I'm just going to go ahead and click play. It might look a little bit different for you, but should be the same process. Just start up the version you're wanting to use at least once because that will be required. Once it's loaded, you can easily just quit the game. Now, for this tutorial, I have three other files here on my desk. All you're really going to need is Forge. This is this file here, and I'm going to show you how to download that. The other two are the mods that I want to install today as an example. One being Optifine and the other being my favorite mod, Inventory Tweaks. So let's go ahead and start by downloading Forge. So you're going to go to the link that's down in the description below and head on down to the download section. Now, at my current time, the current version of Minecraft is 1.11.2. So that's what I'm downloading. If you need another version, just be observant and read through all these versions and select the one that you need. Now, like I said, we're going to need the 1.11, so I'm going to use the recommended version. Now, I'm using Windows, so I'm just going to use the installer win. If you're using a different one, then make sure to select the proper version. Uh, but like I said, for this current tutorial, we're using this one. So installer win, installer Windows is what that means. Just go ahead and click that. It'll take you to an add focus link. Wait through that and go ahead and get that downloaded. And while that is downloading, I highly suggest you guys to check out my channel. I've got tutorials, let's plays, and more for the average building enthusiast. You can click on screen now to watch one of my more recent videos as well as to subscribe. And now that we've done that, all you're going to need to do is double click on the file and that should open it up properly and then all you're gonna do is make sure install client is selected and then click OK and that's gonna go ahead and get it all installed for you there we go successfully installed client profile forge for version forge 1.11.2 and then all that extra information so this gives us a confirmation that it's done now I didn't mention forge is what is required to load mods in most cases it's a very useful library and mod API that a lot of people have used and developed mods with. Anyways, let's go ahead and click this up arrow and we're going to want to select the newly generated profile which is just called Forge. So go ahead and select that and click play. We have to click play here because if we don't the necessary mod folders will not be generated. So go ahead and click that, wait for the game to load up and we'll continue from there. All right, all you need to do now is quit the game, simply enough. Now you're going to go ahead and download the mods you want to use. So I have a tutorial for Optifine, so I'm not going to go into too much detail for that, but I'm still going to download it and show you how to install it to Forge rather than just separately. Like I said, we're using 1.11.2, so just download this version here by clicking Mirror and then downloading the file. Now for the mods you want, I usually use Curse Forge for my locations of mod. I mean, this is usually where I find all of them. Whenever you find the mod you want, which by the way, there's a link for this one and Optifine down below, make sure that it is for the correct version. So we're using 1.11 in this scenario. So I'm just going to click this download file for this particular one, and then that'll get downloaded and you will be good to go. So now we actually have to install the mods. This is kind of confusing for a lot of people, so I'm going to kind of go over it simply enough. So in Minecraft, there's a specific location where all your information is stored, and that is in this folder location. So what you're going to want to do is go to your search and search run. This is on Windows. And then you're going to want to do percent app data percent, and then press OK. This will bring up all of your like app data for certain types of apps. This is where a lot of information is stored. Minecraft has a .minecraft folder. Now since we've run Fol Forge once, you'll see that there is a mods folder. In there is where we're going to want to put all of our mods. So what you're going to do is basically start by dragging the jars. So inventory, tweaks, we're going to drag over. Now Optifine is a little different. So I'm going to minimize this folder really quickly. Optifine requires that you run it at least once and extract the files, not install. Installing it will install it in its own profile without Forge. But if you want to use it with other mods, you're going to have to use Extract. So go ahead and click Extract, and then on our desktop, we're just going to extract the file. And it'll say OK, that, that it's done. So now we have the actual jar. That's what's required. So we're just going to drag that file over into our mods folder. And now that all of that is there, we're going to minimize that and run Minecraft at least once. So let's go ahead and get that started. 
Now this is the screen that's initializing all of the mods, so if you have a lot of mods, it might take a little bit of time. So don't worry too much if that's the case. So now we have Minecraft open, it's really zoomed in and I do not like it. But now you'll see this mod section. If we go ahead and click that and scroll down, you'll see that there are inventory tweaks and we should see Optifine within the settings. So if we go to options, video settings, and there we go, you see we have Optifine. So that includes the shaders mod and all that kind of stuff. But anyways guys, that's how you install mods into Minecraft. It's a very easy process. All of the necessary links are down below. I also have a video going into more detail about the shaders mod and where to get shader packs. I'm going to link that down below as well. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next tutorial. My name has been Systems E. You guys have been awesome. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.